Hello everyone, you are welcome to this class. So in this class, we want to look at solutions to the uh, questions on directed numbers. Uh, the last question we have here. So the first question we have here is, the first question here is minus seven plus into bracket minus three is equal to what so that's what we want to look at so from the rules we learned uh, in the in our video so plus times minus is what minus that means we have minus seven minus three uh equals to what minus ten that is option c i hope that is very clear so question number two so we have if x is if x is equal to minus five and uh, y is equal to 8. What is x plus y? So that means we are going to replace the value of x to be minus 5 plus the value of y to be 8. So that means we have minus 5 plus 8. So from the rule is that when you are subtracting two numbers with different signs, so what we are expected to do is to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. Then you put the sign before the bigger number in front of your answer. So that means you are going to say 8 minus 5, and that's going to give us 3, all right? So what do we have in front of our bigger number is plus. So the answer is just plus 3, which is ordinary, what's ordinary 3, without plus. So which means if you have a number without any sign, it means that number is what is plus. So that is that on question number two. For question number three, for question number three, so we have uh, evaluate minus 12 plus six uh, plus into bracket minus nine. So the first thing, let's get rid of the minus, uh, the bracket first, that's minus 12 plus six. So plus times minus is minus. That's minus 9. So, since we have positive, we have negative. Let's bring the positive to one side and negative to the other side. So, this is uh, plus 6 minus 12 minus 9. So, we only have one positive, which is plus 6. Then minus 12 minus 9. We add, so when you have set of negative numbers, so add the negative numbers together here. So, we are going to have minus 21. So that means you're going to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number, and that is 21 minus 6, so which will give us what 15, All right? So then we are now going to put the sign before the bigger number in front of the answer, which is going to be minus. So the answer is minus 15, and that is option B. I hope that is very clear. Okay, we move to question number four now. For question number four, we have 15 minus minus 8. So here too, so what we're going to do, we're going to open the brackets. So that's going to be 15 minus times minus is plus. That's plus 8. So 15 plus 8 is 23. It's 23. So that the answer is D. So number 4 is option D. Then go to question number 5. Question number five now. All right, so what we have in question five, we have if A is minus 10, A is equal to minus 10, and then B is equal to minus three. So the question answer to find A minus B. So that means A, which is minus 10, minus B, which is minus three. So don't make a mistake. So in this case, it's going to be minus 10, Minus times minus is going to be plus 3. So minus 10 plus 3. So with the same thing, we subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So that's going to give us 7. So and this prime before the bigger number is minus. So the answer is what? Minus 7. That is option B. I hope this is very clear. So we move to question number 6. We have 9 minus minus 4 minus minus six so let's open the bracket that's going to be nine 
minus times minus plus 4, minus times minus plus 6. So the answer is going to be what? 19. Okay, so we move to the next question. That's 19, that's option A. For question number 7, simplify uh, plus 3 minus minus 9 plus 2. So that's going to be plus 3. So you open this bracket, that's plus 9 plus 2. So that gives us what? 14. That gives 14. So that is that on that one. So we go to question number 8. So we have if P, if P equals to minus 7 and the Q equals to 4. So the question asks us to find P minus minus Q. So that means what's the P is minus 7 minus my minus minus q as 4 so that means what we have here is equal to minus 7 minus times minus is plus that's plus so the answer is equal to what? minus 3 so move to the next question number 9 number 9 now so for question number 9 evaluate minus 5 plus minus 3 minus 2 minus minus 4 so what we're going to do here we're going to open the bracket as well this will be minus 5 plus, plus times minus so plus times minus is what minus that's minus 3 minus 2 minus times minus is what plus 4 so we only have one positive all of them are negative here the three of them so we add them together that's going to give us minus 10 uh, plus 4 so minus 10 plus 4 subtract 4 from 10 that's going to give us what 6 so the sign we have before the bigger number is minus so the answer is of minus 6 and that's option b how this is very clear so for the last question that we have here so we have to simplify minus 3 in brackets minus 7 plus in brackets minus 2 minus minus 5 so what we are going to do same thing that's minus 3 minus 7 minus times minus is minus times plus times minus is minus that's minus 2 minus times minus is plus plus that's plus five so we can see the first three numbers as well are negative numbers so this will give us minus 12 plus five so we then subtract five from 12 that gives us seven so the sign we have is before the, the bigger number is minus so the answer is going to be minus how this is very clear so that is the answer to this one. So if you find this video useful, don't forget to give us a very big thumb up. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the notification of any invaluable video that we release in the channel. So we're going to meet in our next class. So bye for now.